Welcome back to Blitzbot r and and today I'm reviewing Studio Series Dropkick. Studio Series Dropkick obviously has been out for quite a few years now. Obviously my review is nothing new, but I hope to give a little bit of insight to this guy considering I've had him for well over three years. Had him closer to three and a half years. Um... This is the first video of my review series that's non-LEGO Transformers, and obviously this is going to not interrupt my LEGO Transformers schedule. So getting on with some size comparisons, here's Dino, here's Shockwave, here is my previous upload. Um, here's my next, uh, Transformer I'll be showing off. Yeah, that's all the size comparisons. So, talking about a little bit of his vehicle mode, uh, big problem with it, this tail, it's a pain in the butt to put together. You can see it's already split and stuff. Besides that, and a little bits of kibble here and there. You can add, his vehicle mode is actually really nice. So moving on to transformation, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is just fold these. Fold them around and then boom, get them out of your way. Next thing, swivel these, his weapons, well, his robot mode weapons and his vehicle mode uh, missile launchers. You're then going to just want to simply untab the intakes. And then you're going, oh, cease. You're just going to want to untab this, bring this down, untab it from this, from the back, and then just bring it out. Um, I actually do think the transformation on this guy is quite enjoyable and quite nice. Like this figure isn't actually that bad. Uh, it's just mostly the inaccuracies. So then you're going to want to fold the gun up, fold the panel to the side, click it, rotate this, fold the leg out. Um, <laughs> one other bad part is the um, is there are a few pieces that like falling off, like the landing gear and the uh, these on the ball joints, these intakes. So then you're just going to want to do the same thing minus the gun step. On this and um just want to say while I'm sitting here transforming this guy I actually started watching Transformers animated last night and it was actually pretty good so if you haven't watched I recommend starting to watch it so then you just want to pop these joints into here you just want to make sure they're here then you're gonna to want to fold the cockpit down collapse it twist him around stand him up and yeah, you definitely can't see him in his entirety. Uh, I might have to adjust the camera. Well, I will have to probably adjust the camera. So then you're going to want to fold this down. Not have that in the way. There's a little clip in there, and you're just going to want to get it in there. Boom. So now you've got, and it do, they don't stay together very well, but then you're just going to want to bring down the arms. Mm -hmm. like that and you're just gonna flip this around flip all this in and then you're pretty much done except i have a few more things to do to the back that i do i don't think they're actually on the steps but i personally tuck the intakes in like this well i have the propellers like this i have those like this and then the like actual these I fold up so that way these stay put. And then you have him in his robot mode. And then you just take the guns, flip them out. These don't look anything like his guns in the movie, but it's fine. Then you obviously just Peg them into his hands. And there you have Dropkick fully transformed. 
So checking this guy out in robot mode, he is actually quite a poseable transformer. I'm gonna just remove these just for sake of transformate or um, posability. He has, you know, like ball joints here, so he can get quite a bit of movement there. He's got really nice elbows because they can also turn. His wrists are crap, but whatever. Uh, he's got fully ball jointed legs, knee, thigh swivel. He doesn't got any ankle swivel, but he's actually has quite a decent amount of posability, at least in my opinion. I'm not really somebody who's super duper crazy about posability, considering I never really pose my transformers. So it's not really a big deal to me. But yeah, if you don't mind the inaccuracy of this guy, if you don't mind a few parts that fall off slightly, and this bit of kibble here, he's actually quite a nice figure, quite a bit of articulation, quite a nice transformation, quite a nice vehicle mode. Um, bringing in some size comparisons, Dino, both of them are Studio Series Deluxes. Here you have Shockwave, and here you have next video, next Studio Series review video in two weeks from now. Uh, next week will be uh, the Galar video, uh, here's previous upload. And I, once I get to 10 subscribers, I will show you guys my full collection on a community post of Transformer Studio Series figures. You guys have already seen most of them. I don't have very many. I do plan on getting some more uh, this year, though. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to know whether to get this dude, probably not considering he's so expensive since he's an older figure. But if you can find this guy for, I'm talking a really good deal, like 20 bucks or something, yeah, I do recommend picking this guy up. Um, but besides that, yeah. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Bye.